Yeah, dude, this has been super fun. As always, it's amazing to have you on, and I'm glad that you uh, joined during the subathon. Thanks again, dude. I appreciate it. It's been really awesome and fun. So yeah, thanks for joining, and everyone in the chat, say goodbye to Charlie. And, oh, hold on, uh, hold on. There's one. There's one thing I would, I'd like to show you before I go. It's oh, not okay, often shit. I get to. So I, all right. like I said, with the collection, I finished it. I've been framing mm -hmm. some of the best ones, so I've got all of my ultimate rares framed, all my ghost rares, starlights, and all that. I wanted okay. to show you one of these that I'm real proud of. So this is all first dead, keep in mind. So check this shit out. Give me one sec. Okay. Chai, what card am I going to see here? A framed ulti, a framed ghost? I'm trying to think, man. What the fuck is this going to be? I'm holding high. I'm holding tight here. Yo, if it's Alistair, I'm, I'm like all f 4 I'm kicking him out of the Discord call. Was that an example? Hope you're wearing a diaper. It's about to get a little <laughs> wild in here. I don't care about grading cards, but for a couple of these I needed, I could only get them graded because that was all that existed. So, are you familiar with Gladiator Assault, that set? What year was that? Was that 2007? Was, yeah, it was like somewhere in that ballpark. Like, it might have been even later, like 2009. It had all those like goofy, wacky misprints. It has like the uh, Rainbow Dragon misprint ghost rare, which is in that frame. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. You have yeah. that? Yeah, and then I also have uh, the Magic Formula Secret Rare 9.5, baby. Whoa, yeah. that's, that's crazy. These were hard to find. And then I believe, and I'm sure you know this, before Konami had Yu-Gi-Oh, Namco Bandai had Yu-Gi-Oh. They printed, I think it was 120, a set of 120, and they had a couple promo cards. So I have all 120, and I have every promo. It was Gate Guardian, Swords of Revealing Light, the uh, Ultimate Blue Eyes, the Chain, and the Mirror Force. The Mirror Force being the rarest. And I have the highest graded 1998 Mirror Force from Namco Bandai. Oh. This was one of their promos. Oh, dude. The coloring, it's like, it's so bad because it's, it's Bandai, but it's amazing. It's some dog shit, yeah. <laughs> it, this is some ass, man. That's crazy. I have oh. yet to see a higher 1998 Mirror Force go up anywhere. Am yeah, I? the Bandai cards are super iconic. A lot of people use them as tokens. Uh, who really? Have, yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, they're, they're really popular token cards, but no, they're beautiful. I found this, actually, before I started collecting, I found this on eBay. It was a few years back, and it was, the guy was just fucking giving it away, and my god, it's become like a prized possession of my collection. Also, How much that cost, cost you? It cost me, I think it was $1,500. So, for that rarity, that's a fucking bargain. And the quality, yeah. 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 I also have all of LOB in first ed, so the blue eyes- Are those are first? Oh, yep, shit. all first ed, baby. That's all of the iconic ones. Yeah. Got like the uh, positioning of Reborn on the dick Exodia. That's that's nice. I thought that looked, yeah. I thought the, that looked real good. Oh, the three icons. And Man. then... They're English, one, right? Yep, all English, not European, all American. I got like the best <laughs> shit. I oh was, yeah, the best shit. Okay. I was fucking <laughs> rabid. And then this is my my favorite one. This just looks... Woo! That's... How many ghosts is that? That's everything. Oh my god. It's well, I'm not all... gonna be able to see them, but there's all... There, I, I can tell you there's some good ones in there. It's all 41 ghost rares, including the Rainbow Dragon Misprints. In... So, this is the Chaos Neos Rainbow Dragon Misprint right here. And then this is the Gladiator Assault Rainbow Dragon Misfit right here. You have both of them, that's insane. Yeah. Do you I have the Dark Magician? Yep, Dark Magician is right there. Ah, okay. Wow, you've even got the newer ones, man. You got like the Black Cluster, the Firewall, that's crazy. Yeah, I saved Ooh. a couple spots in case they do a few more Ghost Rares pretty soon. I was so happy they brought back Ghost Rares. They're an iconic rarity. I don't know what the reason was why they stopped them. I don't know if it was like a cost efficiency thing or something but yeah no they've been a popular reintroduction that's only a few frames so that room like uh, i was doing it for my streaming room it's nothing but frames right now that i still have to hang i love ultimate rares so i have every ultimate rare in first ed that shit looks so cool in like the every right single light. one yep every one of them damn is, that is... is there any card you want to see in first ed for the ultimate rares 
anything. I, I have anything that's ultra rare and above from everything. That includes the game, so I have Dark Duel Stories Blue Eyes, Dark Duel Stories Dark Magician. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, dude. Uh, do you have an ultimate rare tour guide? Yeah, it's from the um, uh, OTS packs. Yeah, that's, or was that's, that's, Astral? My, that, that, that's my favorite one. That's yeah, my on, absolute let me, icon. Let me grab that. Oh, uh, awesome. Every ultimate rare in the game. How many is? How many was there? Total ultimate rares? 81 ghost. Or was it 71? Something like that. Show off your Warhawk amount. <laughs> so, uh, Charlie, I got these for a uh, $1.50. It's, uh, it searches a Warhawk monster and has protection. Every LT in the game in Far Fast to see Tour Guide. Uh, I don't yeah, have these framed. Was oh. it OTS? Was it the uh, OTS packs or was it the Astral and Turbo packs? Tour Guide was OTS. Have you got a few there? I have all of the OTS pack ultimates. Yo, everyone was roasting me, by the way, because uh, out of all of the ultis I asked to see, I asked to see like Tour Guide, which is. <laughs> You know, well, you love tour guide, right? Don't you have like that? Yeah, yeah, you have the giant card behind you. Don't you have a body yeah. pillow, or am I just reading rumors now? No, I, that, that's that's true. It's not tour guide, though. Don't tell her. Just saying. Okay, okay. Oh, it's astral pack six. Was oh, okay, I, yeah, I was just about to check because it's not in the OTS pack or the OTS bunch. So just give me one sec. Here she is. I assume they're all American, right? Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. I have I have Italian ones. Which I guess don't measure up quite as well. Oh no no no! <laughs> you're you're buying some bad shit. Oh, you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage. Yeah, so 668 total ultimate rares. You yep. own every one. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Are Even you gonna like just like show them? Because you just kind of got them in, in a stack there. So these I'm also framing. The frames just haven't come yet. Hmm. Okay. Your chat wants to see the max C here. Most of them are near mint, but a lot of them are like a uh, light play, which is fine because I'm not grading. I, don't, I think grading's a fucking scam. So as long as they just look good in a display, I'm happy. I think uh, max C might be one of the most ultimate, uh, one of the most expensive ultimate rares that you know don't have some crazy sort of like mis misprint thing associated with them. Despite yeah, the fact that it's banned, which is which is. Funny. Yeah, most of the values from played cards actually. Some of the older ones were real like dirt cheap. Yeah, a bunch you'll find for like nothing. Um, but there's there's some real uh, bombs out there, like easy uh, five digits for for some of them. And here's the dark arm dragon. This card had some really cool shit back in the day. I remember. Oh yeah, Teledad format, tier zero, yeah. whole year of domination, and um, wasn't fun if you were playing back then and you didn't want to spend like two thousand dollars on the deck true decks are still super expensive though i was looking yeah. at modern price decks that shit still goes over like 800 900 i think if you're looking for like a deck today um you know meta relevant and trying to like you know because assuming you start from scratch you need a bunch of the staple cards and stuff i mean you're probably looking yeah. at like 500 ish or something yeah um but there's budget options and stuff like that Dude, that is a gorgeous collection. I am so happy to see that. Uh, my actual favorite among all of those, um, apart from Tour Guide, of course, is the Black Crow's Ghost Rare. That's perfection. So beautiful. Mm. Every Ghost Rare Rose. is so nice. The the one when they I don't know how long they did this for, but they used to do like a 3D on them. Like I know the Scarlight or uh, it, what is it the the Red Dragon Scar? Which one is that? Like Scar Fiend Dragon or something? It's uh, Red Dragon Scarlight Archfiend, I think. That's on the there. one, yeah. Yeah. It, it's Ghost Rare is like fully 3D, so when you tilt it, its arm like shoots off of the card and it's super goofy. I love that they <laughs> did that for like three sets or something. It's that, the Red Eyes Metal Dragon, and something else that like shoots off of the card. Yeah. The older ones seem to like have kind of like a stronger effect like that than the newer ones. I don't know why. Um, have yeah. you seen the uh, new uh, new rarities? Because I know you've seen like a bunch of starlights. Did you, did you get any collectors rares? Uh, did, would you like? I have all sixty. I <laughs> you have those yeah. as well. Okay, shit. I, I haven't missed anything. If it's ultra rare or above, I have it. In even first even time. the new ones. That's that's insane. Yep. I've Yo, I, I have this collection to show you. This is this is like all I have here. This is. Have you heard of this card here? Let me take a peek. Oh, some War Rock Mountains? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pulled a lot of those. That's from uh, Blazing Vortex, right? Yep. Best secret there is, dude. <laughs> Are you a War Rock uh, Mountain enthusiast? 
Yeah, so uh, the story behind this is that Warrock as an archetype was getting um, some support. So in anticipation, I thought it'd be smart to buy out all of the... Because you know, secret rares typically go for like 40-ish or something if they're really good, right? Yeah, so okay. I like, you know, in anticipation, waiting for these big... Uh, Reveals to come out with the last wave of support for the Warrock deck. Oh, good. Saw them all for like a dollar fifty. Purchased thirty six copies. They've been sitting on my desk ever since. <laughs> that is the lowest value from Bla Blazing Vortex secret rares, right? Uh, okay, dude. Yeah, we don't got it. It's pretty. It's pretty dog shit, man. You should have invested in like what? What else came in that pot of prosperity, right? I could prosperity have invested in that. literally anything else yeah. in the world, and it would have. Re had better returns than a war rock <laughs> uh, what's next on the on the list for collection then i mean i, don't, I can't think of anything else you'd get at this point maybe like special cards or something or like giant cards they're uh oh no i'm i'm satisfied with the collection now like i i set out with the intent to complete it and god damn it i fucking did it so yeah, now wow. i just keep up with the modern stuff i actually pulled the starlight stardust dragon on stream like a couple weeks ago i don't really do openings anymore now that the collection's done but yeah. when the new set comes out, I still buy some, open it, and hope to get the best one. If I don't, then I just try and find a cheap version. Are you going to get any tins? The tins are usually quite fun to uh, pull from. Yeah, oh yeah. I want to, so when Master Duel comes out, I obviously want to build like the goofy decks there. I also want to have the real world equivalent for when locals are a thing. I'd probably go play. So yeah, yeah I definitely want to have like the physical cards as well. So I have to go back and get those for the decks. I mean, you're, you aren't short of any of the flashy staples at all. So, I mean, you're good there. <laughs> True. Yeah. I have also three binders full of like some of the classic ones that I had multiple of. So I could, I could probably throw together something kind of wacky. Oh yeah. I mean, didn't you say you wanted to try play like an all starlight deck or something? That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sick, dude. Like, I, I, I that was that was beauty, beautiful to see. I am planning on going to America, perhaps in January. I think when was the YCS chat that got leaked? It was like the fifteenth of January or something. It's in the West Coast in L in what was it Pasadena? I think it's called. Is there a is there a world where we see you at the next YCS? If it's close by, so I'm terrified of flying. So it'd have to be like driving distance from Florida. I mean, Pasadena is not that far, right? It's just the opposite side of the country. Yeah, it's only like a 20-something hour drive from here. But <laughs> YCS has those. That's the only fucking thing I'm missing. My holy grails are those championship prize cards. God damn it. So I'm going to have to start winning some YCS championships. There's a, you know, the absurd thing about those prize cards is um, contextual to the time, they never seem to be that much. Because... I don't know. I guess like there's just a bit of an influx of availability, but some of those oh, things no, no, now. No. Oh man, I saw. Do you remember what the fuck was its name? It was like the 2009 prize card. It was a. Uh, oh, the like old a... ones are, are money, yeah. Yeah, it was going for 140 grand on Instagram. That damn near shit myself. I think Blood Me Fist is a bit of a unique uh, case of that. I think it's something to do with the. Um... So when, I, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Chad, I think it's something to do with when Upper Deck was owning, um, the had the license for the game. It was something to do with the copyright of the artwork itself, which technically, like, belonged to, like, some other, like, parent company or something. There's some, like, wacky story behind uh, behind Blood Mephist. It's, uh, it's pretty mm. crazy. Um, but other than that one, some of the newer ones are, uh, are, are, are still, like, expensive. Um, when I, I, cause I started playing like semi recently. I say semi recently, it was like six years ago, but that's, I guess in the grand scheme of Yugo, that is quite recent. <laughs> but there's a, there was a card, there was a prize card I was actually eyeing up like a few years ago that I wanted to buy and it's called Minerva. And mm, that, yes. that was like 500, maybe 600 at the time. Those things now are worth like 10 digits, like easily. Like oh, it's crazy. Minerva. Yeah. Like you will not find an Ultra Minerva for less than like, 10 grand or some shit. So, you know, best of luck if you want to put together a prize card collection. I'm just going to hope at some point they're like, Sorry, hey, did we'll I say 10 digit, five digits, chat? My bad, my bad. Well, it's deeper than... Chat's wrong, so some of those are six digits. It's definitely not 10. That's that's like a full-blown fucking island price. But <laughs> I've seen... So I need to find the name. There are championship prize collectors for Yu-Gi-Oh cards on Instagram. I followed one and talked to the guy behind it. I felt like I was in a crime syndicate. He was telling me about the auctions and he was showing me some of the prize cards he bought and the price he brought him, bought them for. Anywhere from 90 to 150 grand per card. Yeah, it's uh, 
you're you're dealing you're dealing with the with the stock market at that point when you're looking at some of those old things they're fucking oh, nuts it, it it was sickening to hear uh, downright sickening uh, i remember he found a ulevo which i think was the first championship prize card uh, ulevo i think that's like the the sphinx dog kind of thing and he was telling me about how he found it for such a good price at like 120 grand or something i was like jesus christ why have I not heard of this card? Ulevio? What is it called? Yeah. You level. Yeah, you level. I think it was a 2000. It would have been like a 2002 prize card or something like that. Wow, that is ancient shit. Ah, uh, this one. Oh, I remember I had this as a kid. Obviously, the knockoff uh, fake one. <laughs> With, like the bad broken English and stuff. Yeah. Oh, uh, like the Orca? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. If if anyone in chat has any of these, like if I'm assuming you have some like hardcore duelists in here, sometimes you you should look into maybe flipping one of these for a house because the price that these are selling for with those like fine art collectors on Instagram is nuts. Yeah. Uh, the most recent um mass Yu-Gi-Oh uh, sale that I heard about. What was the one that went on Twitter recently, chat? Um. I think it was, a, I don't know if it was a car or if it was, sorry, a card or if it was a box. I think it was a LOB box, wasn't it, chat? Yeah, there was a LOB case, not not a box, a case. Oh, yeah, yeah, LOB. yeah. First edition that sold recently for how much? It was uh, some six-digit number. It was, yeah, it was half a million dollars, I think. Yeah, yeah. So someone just randomly had that lying around still. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> some money too, man, yeah. For sure. All right, man. This has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for uh, yeah. for joining us and gracing us with your pre with your presence. I think uh, you guys enjoyed having Charlie on. Yep, subathon going good. Hope so. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me on, man. It's not often I get to show my Yu Gi Oh collection. Anyone that gives a fuck about it, so that was nice. <laughs> That's probably a good point. I mean, it's not really the hottest conversation starter with the non Yu Gi Oh player, I assume. <laughs> Yeah, no, not at all, unfortunately. But I think it looks, I think it looks fucking awesome. You ever want to do a, another showcase or something? We can go through some uh, some old classics or something. That'd be really awesome. Ooh, um, but yeah, man, sure. it's been an absolute pleasure. Like, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, of course. Have a great rest of your subathon, man. I shall try. Thanks, dudes. Take care. Right, see ya. Bye, everyone.